Welcome to another Enjoying Art lesson. If you're a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. If you want to learn about the technique of using these two brushes, now you can come to enjoyingart.com brushes. Now let's start this painting. Let's take a look at where we're going to put the whole main object. The right side over here and the left side right over here. And take a look at how much we're going to leave on the top, how much we're going to leave at the bottom. The head would be around here. That's good. At this point, I just draw the biggest shape. This is good. I'm going to erase something around the eye over here because when we're painting, we're going to paint inside the eye. Now, we're going to do the masking. And just wet this calligraphy brush and pick up some soap bar. And let the soap get inside of the brush here. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to get some masking fluid. And this is my new masking fluid. Take a look at the video descriptions for the link to all the materials that I use. Okay, that's pretty good. Should be good enough. I'm going to mask the bird and with the brush and then I use my tool brush. Okay, take a look. I'm going to start from the front over here. Let's take a look. And here we go. Push it down. Okay. Coming up, that's good. One brush, and I'm gonna have a little dry brush. I'm gonna don't want to have too much masking. Now I'm gonna take a look at over here. I'm gonna push it down. Yeah, take a look like this. A little short. Okay, a little bit short. A little bit longer, like this. Okay, here we go. Some dry brushes around over here. Uh, you can see that. If you put your head a little bit lower, and you can see. Okay, I'm going to have quite a bit of dry brushes over here. Okay, now I clean my calligraphy brush. Now I'm going to put it on the side for the next project. Now take a look at my tool brush. I'm going to spray something over here. Before I do that, I'm going to cover my paint and palette. Let's take a look. I'm going to take enough. Let's take a look. I'm going to push it on this side. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to leave it, let it dry, and before I come back to start the painting. The masking foot already dry, so I'm going to use my one inch fry brush. Let's take a look. What kind of color do we need? We have two colors. One is a little bit gray, and the other is a little bit green. Okay, so I'm going to pick the red color with the blue color, make the gray color. And this is good. This is very great. And I'm going to put it on the top star over here, making sure I have dark enough in order to be able to uh, see the light shape. Okay. And just coming down all the way. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, 
keep coming down, get a little bit more bubble colour. A little bit more blue coming down over here. Here we go. You see how much the masking foot has block. Okay, that's good. You got the yellow into the paint. It's very much like you putting the uh, green color because I already have a lot of blue color into it. So I'm going to take a look right here. I'm going to have a little bit. Have a little bit. Okay, that's good. Like this. And those color will be wet into wet. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get more yellow with the Windsor Blue green shade. That's good. Okay, that's going from the left to the right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. A little bit more yellow. That's good. Okay. And the top over there, I'm going to start doing a little lifting. Okay. Here we go. The brush is pretty much dry. So I'm going to take a look at the top over here. Do a little lifting. Lift a little bit more. There we go. And actually, I need to have a little bit orange color in it. It probably would have the color a little bit more stable. I'm gonna have a little bit orange color. There we go. And we just try to lift up the color and the color is not going to be able to stay the light shape. So add a little bit of orange color. It would help because I already have the color in over there to occupy the space. I'm going to get a little bit yellow in here. Okay, here we go. That's a little bit soft shape. Now the paper already drive, I'm going to start from the big shape. Okay. Here you go. That's beautiful. Be patient. As you can see the dry brushes. That's good.
Make sure we remove all the masking. Okay, that's pretty good. Very cool, very good. Now we're gonna start painting. It's first going to have a little bit red purple color. So I'm gonna take this red color with the Windsor Blue red shade uh, for the beak. Okay, here we go. Here we go, coming up over here. You can be just put this color Right over here, the whole thing. Coming all the way from the top over here, see? Actually, they have a little bit lighter shape. Have a little lighter shape in between the lines. So I'm gonna have this coming up like this. Here we go, that's just the head. And take a look at around the eye. Also have this color. Here we go, that's good. Have a little color around the eye. Okay, looks very nice, coming up over here. Here we go. Now I'm gonna come in on this side. And now I have a little bit more orange in this color. So, right on the top over here, I'm gonna start lifting. Here we go. I'm gonna do a little lifting on the top, so I have a little bit softer transition on the top over here. That's good. That's very good. Exactly what I want. That's good. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna have this little red color continue on this side. Try to make this color look clean and fresh. Okay, that looks nice. There's not much color in my brush. It's just a little color. Here we go. I'm going to get a little bit orange color. I'm going to get a little red and a little bit yellow. So that's good. Now coming at the bottom over here, coming up. And here, a little bit darker, coming up over here. Okay, now I'm gonna use the water to soften this. Okay, that's very good. Very good. I'm gonna soften this a little bit because I'm, when I'm gonna put the little darker yellow-brown color and I want it to be uh, a little bit more clear. So I don't want that uh, very clear dividing line. So a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. Get that color in here. I'm going to have a little bit brown color, a little bit blue color. A little bit blue over here, the bottom. Okay, that's good, close to the water. And also a little bit gray, a little bit blue, of course, a little bit over here. And this is the shadow area. That's good. Now I'm gonna continue, have a little bit, this kind of yellow brown color, have a little red, and here we go. And I'm gonna have a little bit shape like that, a little bit on the top over here, seeing the feather. Okay, just tap on it, take a look at how it looked like. Here you go. Here you go. Like that. Here we go. That's very good. Now, nice suggestions. I'll take a look. A little brown color at the bottom over here. And we're going to have a little gray color as well. Like that. Oh, 
I don't mind those colors. It look a little bit too clear. That's, but I don't mind. This is pretty good. A little bit softer. A little bit softer over there. Now I'm gonna have a little gray color. So the gray color very much red and the blue color. I'm gonna take a look over here. I'm gonna see the gap. There's a gap. Here we go. There's the gap. And there's another gap over here. Here you go. It's looking for a shape. You're not looking for feather, you're looking for a shape. And when you get the shape correctly, and it will look like what you are trying to say. Because those objects is composed by the visual element. What's your shape? Shape, shape. Okay, here. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. And the bottom over here, a little bit darker. Here we go. Okay, a little bit coming up over here. All right, that's for now. Okay. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this color coming over here, coming up over here. Here you go. And the top over here, have a little gap over here. That's good. It looks like it can be have a little bit more red. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have a little bit blue a little bit warmer and have a little red that color it look a little bit better here we go and I can draw a little thinner line you see how a small line the calligraphy brush just trust it can do it for you okay like that that's good now take a look that's a little bit dimmer color. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit line over here. Here we go. Coming down over here. Now I have a little bit more blue, which is have a little bit more green, can be. Okay, like this. Now I'm gonna have a little bit sh light shape over here too. You see that? That's the shape. And also I have quite a bit of, so I'm going to have some dry brushes over here. I'm going to have some little blue color underneath over here. Now I'm going to have this a little bit more yellow color mix a little bit brighter, like a orange niche, but more yellow. That's a little bit orange brown color. That's good. Now I'm going to pick this color start painting in here look at it okay that's good okay that's good and then take a look a little curve over here and then curve this way okay that's good you have to see the space on both sides so making sure you get it correct. Okay. That's good. And when the color coming up over here, we're going to change it to a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit more yellow color. Here you go. Like this. And then I'm going to have it dilute and get a little bit lighter. Just get a little bit water and have a little bit more yellow as well. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna coming up right over here. Here we go. Here you go, coming up over here. And that perfect. And now the neck looks pretty good. Now we're going to come back after this dish dry and we can set a little bit more three-dimensional feeling. What we're going to do, 
we're gonna add a little bit warm brown color I'm gonna get this just the red color mix it into this blue and have a little bit yellow here we go we can take this color I'm gonna ping that of the line at the center over here take a look from here here we go push it down a little bit keep coming up okay looks good I'm gonna add a little water make it a little bit lighter I'm gonna take this a little bit brown here we go coming all the way go all the way coming up now I'm gonna come back to the body I'm gonna take a little bit darker color now here you go this a little bit darker that has a few lines over here look at that there's a little line coming over here that's perfect it's not completely dry but it looks exactly what we want okay like that like this that's good and a little bit darker over here I'm gonna have a little bit darker over here the, the dry brush There we go. That's good. A little bit of dry brush like that. That's good like that. That's good. A little bit darker a little bit darker for this line good a little bit darker somewhere over here and I'm gonna have a little dry brush over here too if that's good see that it's very important how you can control the brush and create the look of the brush stroke a little bit up a bit higher now we're gonna paint uh, inside the eye. The eye can be very complicated. So you can just put a little dot over there, but you can also put a quite a bit of complicated. Uh, depends on how well you can control your tools. By using this clickly brush, you can actually paint quite a bit of details, like okay, right over here. The corner over here and just going to put a little bit brown color okay and now on the other side i'm going to paint a little bit darker balloonish darker color okay take a look on the other side and also going to leave a little highlight if i can let's see okay like that that's all right I'm gonna start and leave a little highlight. Wow. That's a little highlight. And then over here, a little bit darker. And let's see, I'm gonna make the highlight even smaller. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's the eye. Very beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at if anything else. We also okay, take a look at the water over here from a little bit brownish over here. A little bit soft and coming in here we go a little bit soft here we go like this and on the other side we can make that a little bit soft gray color okay that's good i'm gonna make this a little bit darker 
here in a second. Seeing a little bit from soft and to gradually turn into a light. I'm gonna have even divide this space, divide the line into two. Okay, on the other side, I'm gonna have a little bit soft gray color. So here you go, I'm gonna have a little bit of the gray color and coming over here, see this coming in like that, coming in, that's great. And here we go, I'm gonna have this a little bit gray. A little bit great coming in. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little big line divided. Here we go. That's good. I'm gonna just ship the brush, make it 45 degree, and go to the paper. I'm gonna take a look. That's good. You see that how easy. Just move it a couple times. You got a very beautiful light line. That's good. Like this. Really horizontal line. Love the line over here too. Okay, I'm gonna have a little line over here. All right, and there, a little bit farther, a little bit lighter in the middle of the yellow orange color. Uh, let's say the little light brown color. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna have this a little bit softer connecting to the background. So it's not gonna stand out as much I'm gonna have a little line over here next to it, so give a little distraction. Okay, that's good. Okay, a little bit line over here. All right, that's good, like that. Okay, a little line on this side. It's very simple. Is now you know all the techniques that you need. To finish a painting like this. Okay, a little bit lighter shape over here. I'm going to do it three or four times and make it much lighter. I'm going to have a little lighter shape over here too. Okay, that's good. Now, over here, I'm going to extend this line a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have this stand the line over here as well. I'll make it a little bit softer. Okay, and I'm gonna have a little light shape right over here in the middle of the dark shape. Okay, that's good. And I think the painting is finished.